Hey folks, Wish SE up here at the range. Wanted to tell you today a little bit about why I think steel targets are such a great addition to your normal training regimen. As you know, I shoot a lot of paper targets. I shoot a lot of very small targets trying to develop my marksmanship skills. But I also like to shoot steel because I'm able to get immediate feedback on whether or not I got a hit. So in some cases, depending on the type of steel you're shooting, and we've got some steel plates out there that will fall, we've got some other ones that are static that will simply ring, but depending on what you're doing, you can really develop your skills from a marksmanship standpoint and have a great deal of fun. So I would strongly recommend that you consider adding steel, some steel, right? Invest a couple hundred bucks in some different steel options. You've got everything from hanging steel uh, to static steel targets that require a stand uh, to a range like we have up here in, in New Hampshire where we have put in a lot of steel just because our members really like it. So we're gonna shoot a little bit and I'm gonna tell you why I like steel so much. And primarily, it's for this reason right here. When, I make a shot and if the shot is where it needs to be I get an immediate reaction right so that's pretty cool so there we had a bunch of different steel I had steel at 10 yards across I had one at 27 I had one at 35 and another one at 25 so what we have here is we have a whole bunch of different plates that ring at different uh, pitches and give you that immediate feedback on whether or not you have engaged or hit the target okay I've got a steel target out there at 35 yards and this is in my mind kind of a, a, a good uh, drill to work on so we're simply coming up from a ready position and you can see the cadence at which I'm shooting is relatively slow. It's not bang, bang, bang. It's bang, reset the trigger, bang, make sure my sights are aligned, bang. So I'm shooting maybe at about one shot per second. And we're able to get combat effective hits. Again, this is a large kind of uh, that IPSC or the down one zone on an IDPA target. So we're able to get those hits at 35 yards without any kind of problem whatsoever. And really that's because we're working the fundamentals. Front sight, trigger press, trigger reset, doing it all over again. So for my training regimen, what I do is I spend a fair amount of time, and a fair amount of time is probably 20 to 30 percent of my time shooting small targets, two inch groups at distance, working my way out from three all the way out to uh, 10 yards, trying to keep that two inch group. And then I transition to steel, and then I transition to movement with the steel, so I'm actually movement, moving and engaging the steel. So anyway, steel is a great option, uh, and I strongly recommend it. So that's my two cents on shooting steel targets. If you like this video or any of the videos we do, click the thumbs up icon, share it with your family. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the videos that we do. Appreciate all the feedback you send us. And finally, and as always, 